At this junction, I would like to invite on stage an icon, a legend, extra of our time, the visionary, someone who has seen future better about the cherubim and seraphim. Permit me to introduce on stage Dr. O. Yomi Sholoi JP. Please put your hands together for our plan. Good evening, my dear daddies in the Lord, my dear mothers in the Lord, my brothers, my sisters, everyone seated here. Before I go into my speech proper, I just want to say a very big thank you. A very big thank you to everyone who's left the comfort of their homes to come here today to renew the seraph. The Supreme Head, members of the Ecclesiastical Council, eminent seraphs here, friends of the CNS Church, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is with great pleasure that I welcome each and every one to this get together tagged the new seraph with which we intend to showcase a new beginning of our great church the event of friday july 20th 2018 at economical center seraphim land at maba ogun state necessitated tonight's event you will recall there are thousands of seraphs trooped to the seraphim land for the quarterly night of restoration video that was hosted by our humble self. Fillers from the seraphs that participated in the program indicated that the event was second to none in the annals of church since inception. So this dinner is to formally appreciate everybody, all that attended the event, which are being represented here by all of us, our supporters, our partners, and those that believe in us to host that great event. Having said that, the question now is, should we allow this new spirit of earth-shaking evangelism to die in us? Should we continue to do things the old way? Thank you. I can hear no already. Thank you very much. The answer, my response will be no. And I know your response is no as well. If, uh, if your answer is as good as mine, then we have to be awakened from our long held slumber and reposition our church. That is a great commission the Lord has placed on my lap, which is what I want us to share with you all in this gathering. Please let us of all seated here today ponder over the state of our church today and examine where we should have been. If you ask me, I strongly believe that the CNS church of today should be well grounded in the word of God and de emphasize total dependence on prophecy. Not that prophecy is, not that prophecy is bad, but we need to know the word of God more. What should be topmost in our hearts is the efficacy of prayers and good teaching of the word of God. There's also the need for us to advance the faith of our members as seraphs. That leads me to empowerment of our youths. Many of our youths today lag behind their peers in the scheme of things, in the society of which we seraphs are a part. So in order to correct this imbalance, there is need for aggressive youth empowerment programs. Scholarships to our youths, 
from the well to do seraphs, vocational and skill acquisition trainings for them, donation of educational materials to those not so privileged among our youths. When these are done, there will be creativity and innovations from the youths, which in turn will advance the cause of our church and its people. Our women too need to be empowered. Many of our women in the church go through harrowing experiences trying to assist their penurious husbands to make ends meet at home. We need to teach industrious women how to fish rather than continue to give them fish. As a church of the 21st century, we need to improve the economic power of our members generally. We need to develop projects that will improve the economic power of our members so that they can be self-sufficient and also compete favorably in the larger society. Also directly contribute to the growth and stability of the church. Our professionals, our CEOs, our technocrats, and business executives need to start networking. My brother, you don't even know your sister that is an insurance company. You don't know the one that is in the oil and gas business. When we start networking, what will be the result? It will be exchange of great ideas, and it will eventually be to the benefit of ourselves first, the youth, and the church at large. It is our thinking also that there should be recreational facilities for our youths, particularly where they can always retire to after a hard day and week work. After all, it is said that all work and no play make Jack a dull boy. Also, where these recreational facilities are provided and made good use of, it will serve as a unifying factor, a unifying tool for all CNS churches. Football, for example, is a unifying factor for Nigeria and the world as a whole. You agree with me? Thank you. Moving forward for us, as a new seraph, we have to henceforth genuinely do things modestly and with minimum standards, particularly in our dressings, our appearances, our modes of worship, cleanliness of our church's environment to make them look quite attractive for worshippers. Our people need to change their attitudes in the way they behave and what they say. We need a coordinated and a moderated publicity mechanism where what we push out on our Facebook, on our Twitter, on our Instagram, and other social media outlets of our churches are streamlined and scrutinized. Sometimes we look at what you see on the internet, on the Facebook, on the Instagram, um, it's not the best. It doesn't portray us well. So we need to look at it. We need to understand that whatever goes to the internet or goes to, to the Facebook remains there forever. And it leaves a lasting taste in the mouth. So we want us in our various churches to look at that and ensure that the, only the right thing that is decent goes out on the net. This is the way to go. If we buy and key, if we all buy and key into this new Seraph project, then we must henceforth be good ambassadors of the new Seraph. <laughs> My dear fathers and mothers, just like God commissioned Ezra to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, so we have been commissioned to rejuvenate the dying evangelism mandate of our CNS church. That actually spurred me to willfully accept to host the July 20, 2018 vigil in such manner. Let us all remember that the chief mandate of our founding fathers and mothers of the church is evangelism. And we must tell ourselves the truth. We have not been so forceful 
I'm pushful in carrying out this mandate today, like of old. Fact is, we have been sleeping for too long. It appears we are first derailing from this mandate and that we are now trying to emulate those who take the riches of the world as their core mandate, upon which their denominations were founded. That is not our lot as members of the Cherubim and Seraphim organization. Ours is to preach the word, evangelize to, the, to win souls for Christ and his kingdom to come. The task ahead of all of us here in this great auditorium is how we can improve on the July 20 vigil that we all saw at Seraphim land. That is not a poser for just one person, but every Seraph year. Every Seraph year and those that are also not here. It goes without saying, therefore, that while we are here to unwind in this carnival atmosphere, we are also to begin from this moment to rededicate and commit ourselves to the poser I raised above, which is how we can build our church and build on our evangelism that we witnessed July 20th at the Seraphine land. But let me say that we cannot be, be where we ought to be by mere talk unless we commit our energy, time, and resources to this task ahead of all of us. We cannot leave our spiritual heads alone to this task. We as foot soldiers of the church should be at the vanguard of this great commission. We as a church need to move to the next level. We must be willing and ready to harness our God-given talents and resources to build our church, our CNS church, and take it to where it ought to be in this age and time. My dear fathers, my dear mothers, no one can do and can go this road alone. We need the support and cooperation of everyone in the church, young and old, male and female. We challenge our fathers and our mothers to bring forward their members whom we believe are also itching to join in the restoration of the lost glory of the church. But we probably are not being given the green light by their respective church leaders. It is time, my brother, it is time, my sister, to move the church, to move your church, to move our church, the CNS Church of God forward, and we are ready to lead in this crusade. While I allow you to savour the ambience of this great venue and the sumptuous victuals it has to offer, I plead with us to go home from here and make ourselves a partaker in the bath of the new Seraph project. I can only wish you all an enjoyable evening here and have a great dinner ahead of you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I think she deserves a round, round of applause. Dr. Luashe Yomi Sholoyo. Can we please put your hands together for her? That was, that was thought-provoking. I will say that she shook some tables this evening, and I think it's for the best, especially for the fact that it had to do with the youth representing us. I think once again she deserves a rounding, a rounding of applause. Can we please put your hands together for her once again? 